All right, back at 10 minutes to 7. This is bittersweet, y'all. Last uh, time we're all together here before Rachel goes to Arizona. She, she'll work through next Friday, other than Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you will get to see, we will see you on TV for a few more days. Yeah. But um, this is the last time the whole crew will be together. So be before we go, I want to play a video for you guys. Let us know, let you know how much she means to all of us. Okay, here we go. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel McNeil. Dobre noche. Good evening from Sochi. Hello from Rio. Welcome to the Caribbean. Rachel, I still remember the very first day I saw you in the old building over there in the old newsroom. You had come to interview for the job. I see you walk in. I said, who's that? Then I see you brought your mother with you for the interview. I mean, that was ingenious. How is she going to say no to you when you got your mother right there, especially your mother? I knew I liked you when I met your mom. Spunk. She has spunk. Are you going to ride the rides, Frank? The city is not going to be the same without you. You're beautiful. You're funny. You're talented. You're sweet. Your husband is so handsome. Your kids are so stinking cute that there's a serious amount of good looking that's leaving. And it's a big, gaping, wide hole. Hey, I'm Rachel McNeil. I'm only complaining. So, you know, Rachel and I have worked together a long time. There is no one more compassionate, more professional, more with it than Rachel. Oh, and she Let's loved dressing up for Halloween. I mean, she loves getting into character, but also it gives her another reason to shop. Hello. Goodbye. I had no idea that Rachel was so funny. Okay. So we are on Sick. fire. We are on fire <laughs> at all times. <laughs> and Rachel never said no. She was always willing to test some crazy things. Any product that I brought to her and said, could you help me out and try this for the morning show? And she made it fun. I look like Groucho Marx. <laughs> we love those witty comments and I'm really going to miss getting compliments from Rachel. You don't give those out to just anybody. So when I got one, I knew I deserved it. Haley, and she's not even out of breath. Wow. Haley's in crazy shape. I've heard so much about you and Jazzer's I just have one question. How do I get those ripped guns? Is it by doing this or maybe like this? Oh, Rach, who's going to talk about Pitbull and bring up J.J. Watt all the time and keep Owen in line? We're out here at Discovery Say, Green. I really can't imagine not having you on the desk with me. It has been such a pleasure to work alongside you. My first newscast with you, you looked at me and you said, what's your name again? Oh, yeah. She's actually responsible for me applying to KPRC. Her ability to tell the tough stories and her ability to tell the funny stories. Reporting from New York City. It's a very unique quality that she has to connect not only with the viewer, but everybody in this building. <laughs> when I first came to Houston, I looked up to Rachel. She was the epitome of style and fashion and class. But I try to amp it up. I have not been looking forward to this day. What you see now is really Rachel. When she came in earlier, she was a, you know, news, news, and doing the thing and being a good reporter. But she's always had that little spark, that Rachel McNeil spark that just doesn't happen in this business or in this life, really. Everything. But she always calls me Andrew. Andrew. Well, it's almost like a motherly, sisterly tone. I just take it as a term of endearment. So she can call me Andrew all she wants. No one did with more style, more fab than you. Please give Wayne, our light-skinned Denzel, my very, very best at you, him, and the kids. I know you guys are going to be fantastic and do very well in Arizona. I can't tell my two favorite Rachel McNeil stories for fear of being in trouble with management. And we are certainly going to miss you. It feels like it was just yesterday that they were announcing your departure, but who would have thought that day would approach so fast? Rachel, as a fellow H-Town girl, you inspired me on my journey back home to work here at KPRC Channel 2. You gave me great advice when I got here. I'll always appreciate how you kept it real. Boy, we're live in Indianapolis tonight. We had so many specials together. I think we set the record for co-hosting specials. It's like playing chicken. <laughs> Competitor here. <laughs> Golf specials, uh, Super Bowls, uh, you name it. Uh, we were on the road quite a bit uh, on location doing these specials together. I had a lot of fun working with you. And we are live from Inside Minute Maid. Oh, we'll miss your big personality and your fabulousness, of course. And one last time, just for you. Here we go. Let's go, Astros. Easy run. We're now off to the next Lemur Island. Woo! You were so much fun, and you had such this sassy style, and I love 
sass. And so I knew I was going to get along with you. Oh, darling, please reconsider. You leaving is going to leave such a big hole in the landscape of our newsroom. And of course, you always laughed at all my jokes. We've arrived in Antananarivo, the capital city of Madagascar. I know the viewers will miss you. We'll miss you. You know, there are so many stories when you think of Rachel McNeil. One that comes to mind when they forgot the intern at, I think it was a Bucky's. She's the rock. She's, uh, you know, the friend that you can always count on. I hope you stay in touch with us little folk who, you know, like to believe at least that, you know, we know you and that you like us. Be good. You work with people and you think you're going to be with them forever. And I definitely thought about that with you. I didn't think you'd ever leave. We sure love you. Have a great, great adventure. I wish you the most spectacular future, whatever it holds and whatever you want it to be, because you deserve every bit of it. Boy, what do you say about partner in crime, TV wife, way more intelligent sister, someone who's uh, been just a great friend and a colleague. I love you. I miss you. Rachel, that's not it. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, we got a big room for you. Come on, oh my Emma. gosh, these I just are jumped up. <laughs> we will miss you. You must read the card. I will read the card. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. All right. <laughs> You're not allowed to win. Rachel, best wishes for you, Wayne, and the boys. You will always have a home here at KBRC. Jerry Martin, thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you so thank much. You. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. This has been the experience that completely changed my life when I came here in 2001. I was a pup <laughs> and got married, fell in love, had kids. This has been the best job, and that's why I never left. And so it's time for me to be the supporting actress for my husband. He has an incredible opportunity now. He's sacrificed a lot for me to wake up at 3 a.m. every day. <laughs> so it's his time, and um, Houston's always going to be home. Go Texans, go Rockets, go Astros. This will always be home where the heart is for sure. We're going to miss you yeah. a ton, obviously. Yeah. Thank and, you. you know, we hope to see you back. Of course, you'll be back. Mm -hmm. Family's here, friends here. And I love you, man. Thank you. I know. Thank you, girls. I appreciate it so much. You guys, the best team ever here. Stay tuned. They're going to continue to rock it. Hey, we're going to get drunk and go on Facebook. Definitely tune in at 8:30. We love Rachel.